Hello, Willikins, and welcome back to another episode. So today, I wanted to share with you some things that have been on my mind um, that I wanted to share. They mostly come up when I'm meditating, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that would be a really good thing to talk about. So I wanted to share that with you today, and so let's get into it, shall we? So the whole topic is on how others see us. Does it matter? Should we make it matter? And so I just want you to think on that just for a second. And maybe you're already saying to yourself, no, it shouldn't matter what others think of me or, you know, whatever. And for those of you that say that, good job. But are you practicing it? Are you actually doing it? Because sometimes we say things like that is common sense, but we don't practice what we're preaching, so to speak, you know? Like we are like, yeah, I... I, I think that would be a bad idea to take people's considerations about me into effect. Unless it's like, you know, hey, you were kind of acting like a witch over there. I just wanted to let you know. Like, if it's like criticism or good feedback, then I think maybe we should listen to that. But... If it comes to like how we dress, how we do our hair, how we do our makeup, um, whether we have gauges or not, or tattoos or whatever, it shouldn't matter what others think. We are expressing ourselves when we have a right to do that. Because let's be honest here, we only have one life. Now, I know that in some religions, there is reincarnation, and quite honest, I think that is possible because how is it that some of us have more wisdom than others at a young age? But anyways, um, I just feel like, you know, just for the purpose of this video, let's talk about our current self. Now, this current self if we're not allowing ourselves to, you know, get funky with our hair, cut our hair shorter, or grow it out longer, or wear an outfit that we thought we would never wear, these are all things that help us discover who we are. And it is important, actually, <laughs> in the process of growing ourselves. Now, Yes, for our young uh, childhood into teen years, this is extremely important to do. Experiment with how we want to look and feel and so forth. But it's also true in adulthood. Because sometimes we get into this stagnant routine of, okay, I'm wearing this, I'm looking like this, I'm having my hair like this, and I'm not changing anything, and it keeps going and going and going and going. And sometimes you don't even realize it because you're unconscious at that point. You're just doing it over and over and over again. But it's until you become conscious and you're like, wait a second. Actually, I want to change things up. I want to do something different. Maybe I want to grow up my hair. It's been short for years. Or maybe I want to cut my hair because it's been long for years. Or maybe I want to dress hippie for the first time or for a while or, you know, whatever the case may be. We become conscious of ourselves and us being here and the present moment and that is what we need to do more of now in that experience 
We shouldn't be looking for advice of other people to tell us or dictate how we should live our lives. And, you know, I used to do this growing up. <laughs> I am a survivor of that, <laughs> thankfully. Um, and let me explain a little bit. So I was bullied a lot um, growing up and it was kind of hard like um, I had a lot of mental health disorders going on and um, it was just it was it was hard growing up and nobody of course knew about that but it didn't make it easier when they would say something like I don't know, just, I know it's stupid, but I'll just give you an example. Um, oh, you got that shirt from Walmart. And it's like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, so? I mean, is there something wrong with Walmart? Like, I mean, at least I have clothes on. You know, that was my kind of mindset. But to other people, it really mattered where you shop. And, I don't know, to me it's like, why does it matter? Why, why do you have to have, um, I don't know, one of those fancy designer clothing brands? And it's like, you know, and first of all, go thrifting because you can find some of those designer brands while thrifting um and you'll get it for like way less than what you would pay in the actual store but let me just talk about that for a second because if you are first of all find your style if you're comfortable in something and you're feeling good with in something it shouldn't matter what brand it's from um, to be honest Target has some pretty good brands Walmart has some pretty good brands you just have to scope them out and you know thrifting thread up all of these you know thrifty kind of cheaper clothes you can find some really cute items from And I know this is kind of all over the place and I apologize, but my main point here is it shouldn't matter what others think of you, your style, how you look, unless it's to, you know, mention, hey, you're kind of a little um, on edge back there. Or, you know, something like that, that's like constructive criticism that you know you can take or leave that is a good thing but if it's somebody saying oh yeah don't do that don't do that to your hair you look like blah they're just not your friend okay and you should find some new friends that accept and appreciate for you like who you are because you know why does it matter to them how you look because you won't fit into their society well screw that let's let's be ourselves <laughs> let's embrace who we are let's be different let's have crazy hair let's be funky why not we only have this life that we're living in currently to explore who we are express things about ourselves and let me just say one more thing because I think this is also important like this all kind of plays into um, how we perceive ourselves um, you know like what we think is what we believe is what others will project back to us so if we're feeling confident in what we are doing with our hair or what we're wearing others will see that and be like oh yeah yeah i really like that that's really cool i never would have thought of doing that or you know whatever 
The other thing is, when we are in a continuous state of, I'm looking this way, I have my hair this way, I am the same way I have been for years, nothing has changed, that's being unconscious. Because you're just stagnant, you're in routine, you're not, you're in autopilot. Like you are just like, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And then it isn't until you become conscious that you're like, yeah, you know what? I've been doing this for years. Why don't I switch it up? Why don't I do something funky or different with how I dress or what I do with my hair? Which also connects to, um, like, well, being conscious. And then also, like, opening ourselves up to maybe finding something else about ourselves that we didn't thought think um, we'd like or... Um, enjoy. Maybe it's a new hobby that we thought we would never um, even go near. <laughs> and we try it and we end up liking it. Now you have a new thing that you can do. And, and you know, it's until we become more conscious and aware that these things start to arise and we start to explore and expand on because we're like, oh, right. You know, actually, I think I'm going to do that. And then once we do that, then, oh, you know what? I think that would be a cool idea. You know, all these cool ideas and, you know, thoughts kind of come to view because we're conscious, we're aware, we're opening ourselves up, we're um, accepting um, new change and possibilities. And I think that's amazing. And, and you just have to let go of those, well, what, what will they think? What, what will my family think? You know, whatever the case may be. As long as it's healthy, <laughs> do it. Um, you know, if, it, if it's doing more self-care for yourself, do it. If it means... Um, I don't know, going on a mini shopping spree at a thrift store or at Thread Up or, um, you know, uh, Walmart or Target or any of those like kind of lower end, um, cheaper clothing stores. Do it. I mean, no one's going to stop you. Because you have the right to do that. You have the right to make that change. No one else. You know, now if you are tight on funds, then maybe you should wait a little bit and kind of have like a savings fund and, you know, do it in a healthier way instead of blowing a lot of money at one time. But... The whole thing, the whole takeaway of this, sorry, <laughs> there's people um, driving in and out of the house next door and, and it keeps putting glares and I'm like, oh, what's that? Because it's shiny. <laughs> um, <laughs> the whole takeaway of this video is, and, and I want you to hear me. It is okay to be yourself, to open up to new possibilities about yourself, to embrace new change, as long as it's what you want. And even if it's not quite what you want, at least you're trying it. You know, you're opening yourself up and you're becoming more aware and more conscious Instead of being stuck in a loop of the same old, same old. Switch things up. Do things different. It's okay. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all on the next one.